What's up, y'all? Welcome back. My name is Samaya Hampton, and this is Fashion Sense. Where common sense is good, but you gotta have some fashion sense. Come on now. But I'm finally back. It's been a minute since I came with a fragrance review, but today I'm coming back and I will be reviewing Mind Games. Mmm, so yummy. Um, everything about this collection is exceptional. But before we start, I just want to make sure that you guys are tapped into Fashion Sense. So please make sure you turn on that notification bell so you do not miss another episode. I want you guys to like this, share this, and please comment so I can get to know you a little bit more. And then, you know, we can share some advice when it comes to fragrances. So let's get into it. So whew, here we are. This is the Mind Games Discovery Set. She got some weight on her, y'all. I'm not lying to you. But look how beautiful this box is. Um, on the back, it has all 10 um, of the 8 milliliter decanters that are included. Um, I thought that was really neat. I thought that was a really cute touch. And the thing about this discovery set was limited edition. So there were only a 1,000 discovery sets produced. And it tells you which number you are when you open the box. So let's just get all that off. It comes with this really, um, this booklet, very informational. So every, um, there's a description on every fragrance inside the booklet that they give you. And then when you open further, there's just more of the Mind Games logo. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. And here we are. So this is the, these are the 10, um, fragrances from Mind Games. And as you can see, there's like a, black or darker mirrored color um set of fragrances and then there's this lighter they call it the white side um mirrored fragrances but in chess there's black and white so the design of this fragrance is based off of chess i thought that was very innovative i thought that was very cool i thought that was a lot of thought put into a fragrance so you have like this exquisite design mixed with perfumery and that's just bomb to me. I love when thought is put into something, you know, as intricate as perfume because it deserves that. So without further ado, let's just hop into it. So Mind Games is, so what I got from it. Now, I'm not, this is not me reading from the booklet. This is the real, this is the raw, this is the semi. It's like love and life. So chess to me is like problem solving. You have to think, you have to be deceptive, you have to be witty, you have to know your moves, you have to know the game. And perfumery is like that as well. So to me, for them to be able to take aspects of a game and add it into the creation of like a perfume, that made a lot of sense to me. And they went further than the names. So, okay, you can have something called Checkmate, but what does that smell like? You know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to hop right into it. So Checkmate is like the white queen, but it's floral and it's, you know, coy and it's full of love and... You know, it's like that that romance where she's going to make you fall in love with her eyes. Like, that's what Checkmate does. And I'm actually wearing Checkmate today. It is the only one that I got in the 100 milliliter bottle. So, every 100 milliliter bottle is $345. Um, and then, oof, y'all. I'm going to be honest. Uh, this discovery set was a gift for me because, you know, I'm into fragrances. But the discovery set was $4.95. And the only reason that I say it's worth having because you have all 10 fragrances. And, you know, you're not just picking and choosing by getting one fragrance, you know. And if you get the 100 milliliter, you're spending $345. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me, let's just put some reality into it. <laughs> so, let's start. So, I'm going to start with the black side or the black mirror. And one thing that I do want to say about the decanters, they are very um, impressionable. Let's just get right into it. The 8 milliliter decanters are very impressionable. So you can see your fingerprints when you put your hands on it. To open it, you see your fingerprints. And then they also come out so you know how much you have left. And if you have a bigger bottle, uh, you can use, you can take the itemizer off and refill it. You know, for traveling if you use all 8 mil up. But, so I would say get something like a, um, is it, it's called like microfiber wipes or like a lens cleaner, just to wipe it off if you don't like seeing all the fingerprints. But I'm not that detail-oriented or picky, so it's cool with me. So the first fragrance that we're going to start with um, is Grandmaster. And I did kind of start with Checkmate a little earlier, but we're going to revisit it. But let's start with Grandmaster, the Black King, y'all. The Black King. We started with the Black King. I love that. 
Um, so this is Rose Absolute Coffee. I know you're like, ugh, coffee? Girl, I don't want to smell like no coffee. Me either. But this is not like the dripping coffee. This is not like the intense cream, you know, French vanilla. No, this is like a dry coffee bean. And you may be like, somebody, that's, that's, that's still worse. But no, give it a chance. I also say if you like Rose this is the one for you. And I don't vouch for rose fragrances because they are they are super intense. They're super overpowering. And sometimes you just smell like a, a flower just left out to dry. And I'm not really with that. I like, I like to be sweet with rose. And I can say that this, it's like a gourmand at the end. So your gourmand is all of your like milky, caramel, coffee. It's all of those warm vanilla flavors, but it's not so intense where you feel like you know, you smell like Starbucks walking around all day. So I love Grandmaster because it's like, um, since it is the Black King, it's like where softness meets masculinity. So it's great for men, but it can also be great for women because you have this like soft side to it. So Grandmaster, I will say, um, it's one of my favorites. And at first I, I was stuck on two, but Grandmaster is one of my favorites. Another cool thing that the Discovery Kit comes with is its own uh, fragrance strips. So when you want to smell something, you use what they gave. And it says mind game. It's nice, cute detail. Um, and I did that for all of them. So they've been able to dry down. Um, and then I smelt them there. Because one thing you need to know that when you first spray a fragrance, it's going to smell like something. But give it a chance to dry down and then you'll get the true smell of it. And again, um, this is not something that you need a lot of. I, I overspray because that's just my thing, but you don't need a lot of this at all. So let's try Grandmaster first. And again, this is that Rose Absolute and coffee. But just trust me, I like, I like this a lot. It's so sophisticated, y'all. One thing that I can say, so all of these fragrances are, are extract de parfum. So that means that there's a high oil concentration. I think there's about 26% oil in these fragrances, which is a great balance to the alcohol to me because, baby, you are projecting and you're leaving a scent everywhere that you go to let them know I'm that girl. But I like, this is a great start. And I think that them starting with Grandmaster, the Black King, like, that was impressionable for me. Like, I, I love a strong start to something. And it's giving that. It's giving all of that. Yay. Two claps. So our next one is going to be Garday. Or people really be messing with the pronunciations. I'm big on pronunciations. I speak a little French. But it's Garday. It's not Gardez. It's not Gardi. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. But it's Garday, in my opinion. And this is going to be the Black Queen. Mm. So I don't even need my card for this one because when I smelled this, I was like, yeah, that's a Black Queen. And, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I'm a Black Queen, but it's chess, but whatever. But anyway, when you smell this, it's like, oh, I thought it was this. But when it, it dries down to like this very like secret, court, like you don't know what it is. It's like hiding from you almost. So I feel like you needed a lot. To, you had to spray a lot, a lot, a lot of Garday to project. And that's not something that I like, but I did like the mystery in it. And that's where I really saw, like, the game portion coming out into the perfumery. Because it's like with chess, and I'm not a big chess player, but I've watched and I understand chess. But it's like you are being very decisive. You are taking your time with your move, and you're trying to get your opponent's pieces off this board to capture that king. So it's, it's a very time consuming process. And this fragrance Garday is like, it's the most expressive of the game of chess when it comes to this collection. So Garday is black leather Oris. And for me, I don't really, I don't really like the smell of leather. Um, to me, that's more of like, it's warm, it's, it's fall, it's winter. So I would probably do Garday in something like winter, but this is that pepper. It's spicy, but it's it's so low key. It's like she whispering to you. It's like she wanna be seen and heard on you, but she really can't because she's like a low key. She's a call to action person, but it's just low key. Like she, it's like camouflage. And I hope I'm not losing y'all, but I just want y'all to really have a good description of what I'm saying. Cause it's there when you spray, but when you dry down, it just fades out. 
And I don't know if that's good or not. But, you know, some people may like that. But um, this is the one that it has fruits in it, too. But like I said, everything is very, like, how you doing? It's not prominent. And, you know, the girls over here, we like to project. So I would I would say Garday, I like it, but I don't love it. Okay? So let's move on. And then this next one, I don't know about this one, y'all. I don't know. It's in the black side as well, but it's called Scholar's Mate. And I'm going to just say this, and this is this is the rawest I could get. Like, it's giving jalapeno. And I know you're like, what? But it's so spicy to me, and it's so woody and earthy that it's like, it's 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 on the verge of a musk, but it ain't it's not giving that. Mm -mm, it's not giving that. Scholar's Main is it's my least favorite of them in the Mind Games collection. And I know you're like, no, because Scholar's Main represents the black bishop. So the black bishop is the wisdom. It's giving the king and the queen their moves. It's telling them, you know, it's advising, it's guidance. And you would think guidance would give a little more, because it's like, you know, you the one with all of the the jewels, the gems. But it's not that for me, y'all. It's not. Um, and just to give you a few of the notes, it's going to be, so that's that woody, aromatic, um, cardamom leaf, grapefruit, vetiver. And again, vetiver is earthy, moss, wood. It's just not doing it for me. It's literally like a musky citrus, but it's not the musky citrus that I would like. And I mean, I'm going to get this a spray just because I feel like, like, I'm going to give, I, I like to give things a chance. You know, I'm a second chance kind of girl. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. It, it's like, it's it's pickle, jalapeno. I don't want to smell like this throughout the day. Like, I mean, I don't even know where I would wear this to. Like, maybe a marathon. Like, I don't know. It's not giving y'all. Mm -mm. that, that, that's. That, that is my least favorite. I'm not going to say that it's not sophisticated. I'm not going to say that it wouldn't smell good on you or a man. It's just not for me. That's how I say that. Oh, but this next one, this next one, double attack. I just, I watched the game last night and I'm thinking about how Javante took out Garcia and I'm like, this is that. Double attack is that. So this fragrance, you like, oh, I smell like I, I smell like somebody could eat me. And it is, it's a woody edible. But what does that mean? So the 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 strongest note in here is chocolate. And I know you're like, ugh, that's chocolate. But that's why I feel like it's called double tech because there's so many faces to it. You know, chocolate could be like that dark, bitter chocolate, or it could be like that sweet, aromatic. Like, mm, something smells sweet in here. And that's what this is. So when you spray this, you get, like, bitter at first. But then when it dries, you, like, sweet like chocolate, like milk chocolate. I love Double Attack. Double Attack, I feel like, is one of their most innovative and intriguing fragrances just because it has so many faces. Like, you think it's something, but it's really it's really both. And that that is the beauty of a fragrance to me. That is our artistry when it comes to fragrances so double attack y'all did y'all big one on that one and again that's that gourmand and citrus so you have like vanilla you have caramel you have bourbon bourbon so it's like it has that boozy effect but it's not too much where you you know you smell like alcohol or something so i love double attack that's one of my favorites I think that Grandmaster comes a little bit before Double Attack, but I still, it's, it's still up there. Now, this one is the last of the black, but I feel like it's last for a particular reason. It is really the ish, y'all. And I'm not joking. A lot of, and honestly, when I was doing my research on this one, it's called Jadu. When I was doing my research on this one, a lot of fragrance reviewers that I, I actually love, they don't like this one, but a lot of people do. So that's how I know that how I'm about to explain this is true. So this is pomegranate and suede. Like, hmm, what that means? So like fruity, but it has this like 
superiority, like, maturity to it that is unmatched. But it's still, like, fruity and young. But you get that young and mature at the same time. And that's what I love so much about this one. It's like, I don't even want to spray this one anymore because I feel like I sprayed it a couple times. And I need to save what I have because I don't have the big bottle. And I don't know when I'm going to get that one. Again, the big bottles are 345 for the 100 milliliter. But this is only 8 milliliters. And, I mean, we can see how I'm doing. So, so not too shabby, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to save her. But this one here, it's it. That's the one. Out of all five of the black side, I would have to say that Jadub. It's like I can never choose between Grandmaster and Double Attack. But Jadu for sure. And then um, I'm going to go with Grandmaster. Because it's like I am an edible kind of girl. But I don't necessarily know if I want to always smell like chocolate. But it is a good one. So yeah, that is the black side. So we only have five more to go. So now on to the white side. Or the white mirror. Because you, you can see yourself in these bottles. Which I think is good. So if you need to reapply some lip gloss. Use your travel size decanter for mind games. But anyway, so let's get into it. So Checkmate. I feel like Checkmate is the one. It's the one on the white side. Um, I cannot lie. When my boyfriend bought me the big bottle of Checkmate, I was like, why? Like, <laughs> this is not me. Like, I'm a citrus. I'm a fruity. I'm warm. And Checkmate was not that for me. But it grew on me, y'all. And when I say it is, like, one of the most innovative in this collection, it really is. And a lot of people say it reminds them of Lalabo Santal 33. I don't personally have that one. Um, I do want to try some Lalabo fragrances, but I'm just going off of purely the citrus fragrances that I have and just things that I think are kind of similar because it is very, very, very musky. But I like to say, like, that sandalwood, like, it kind of balances it out. And even though sandalwood is musky and earthy and woody, I just feel like Checkmate is the feminine fragrance in this collection other than Jadu. And like I said, I have the 100 milliliter bottle of Checkmate. But Checkmate, again, is that, it's sandalwood, it's tobacco, it's bourbon. And again, I'm, I don't like heavy scents like tobacco and bourbon, but it's not like boozy or a cigar like it's it's not that it's very feminine and light and refreshing and like whoo I just got out the shower now I'm about to get my day started and that is what I love so you have that patchouli you have earth moss um and this and they say when they describe this in the book they say the thrill for conquest mm, you know checkmate so I love again how they brought chess in so much and I mean look at this bottle y'all I just feel like it's classy, it's minimalistic, it gives me chess, it gives me sophistication, it just gives me everything that I'm looking for when I buy a niche fragrance for $335. Maybe the design could have been a little more, but it does what it has to do. So, and yeah, that's not something I'm going to be spraying out today, I know what that smells like. But this next one, and I love the name, Um, so what we're going to look at is, I'm going to say that one. So, Asuli's Diamond. So, when I, I had to look up this meaning because, like I said, I wanted everything to connect. I wanted to understand why they chose different names. I wanted to even know how the chest part played. So, Asuli's Diamond is basically in chest. So, whenever you touch a piece in chest, look, I'm not a connoisseur expert. I'm learning, but I am intrigued. But, Asuli's Diamond is basically... Basically, whenever you touch a piece on a board, you're required to move that piece. But, um, you know what, y'all? I got that confused. And I'm a, and I, I'm real enough to be honest about that. Um, when you move a piece on the board and you're just, you're, you're moving it to figure out strategy and you're not, you don't necessarily want to move it, that is Jadu. So that was what that I think that's another reason why I found Jadub a little bit intriguing too, because of the meaning behind it. But yeah, that's that. Sorry, y'all. And if it's not, and I'm and I'm still switching them up, I will make sure of that as well. <laughs> but the next one that we're gonna get into is 
Because that's why I feel like I'm all over the place now. It's cast ones. I'm going to just skip over and I'm going to start at the end. And I want to start with this one simply because this is this. It's not my least favorite, but I don't really understand it. And that is the only fragrance in this collection that I just don't understand. I feel like everything had, you know, it, it made sense to me. Like from the name to how they said it should smell, like it all made sense. But this one, this one was a little off to me. So this is like wood, bergamot, white wood. So this is when you turn the defense into offense basically so what they wanted to do here was they wanted to give you something but they wanted to switch it and that worked for me in double attack but it did not work for me here and sometimes with woods and florals it just does not work and I'm I'm really big on on the florals that I pick because sometimes like white floral it just does not sit well with me like it's, it's too overpowering it could be a little you know old like it doesn't give me refreshing and that's what Kathleen did. And it's like, I want to give this another chance so bad, y'all. But mm -mm, I would not get the big bottle of Kathleen. And I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you are a, a floral and wood type person. And I don't, a lot of people aren't that. Like, let's just be real. Mm -mm, it's like, it's, it's a little powdery too. I, I don't see it. It's not giving that girl. Maybe this could be an after shower fragrance and you just need something like subtle and you want to smell good. But this is not something that I would say like, this is a prominent fragrance. Like you're going to project, you're going to get those compliments that you want when you put on your best. Mm -mm. I, I'll be lying. Um, so the next one that we're going to do, we're almost done y'all. Blockade. I like blockade because it's super, super, super fruity. But, again, it gives that sophistication by adding in a little earthiness to it. And the fruit in Blockade is like mango. And I've never been a huge fan of mango because I didn't, I like the way mangoes taste, but I don't necessarily like the way that they smell in fragrances. Um, it's a little too fresh for me sometimes in fragrances. But I, I do like Blockade, and this represents the white night. So, you know, like a night can be, you know, witty and a night can be you know deceptive or you know very charming but they also know what they have to protect and what they have to do and that's this fragrance for me so like this fragrance shows up as who it says it's gonna be so it's fruity off rip like when you spray it you're like okay i i get that but then it just develops into like this sophisticated fruitiness if that makes sense and it should <laughs> um but this is a lot like and this is going to be bad to compare it to because I don't like comparing fragrances. But it's a lot like California Dream in the essence, not the muskiness, but in the essence that when it dries, you get something else. But it's a good something else. And it feels like a different fragrance too. But, you, but again, you still have your fruitiness with it. Okay. So two more, y'all. Um, This next one is one that I really, really, really love. But again, uh, it's a little confusing. And Asuli's Diamond, this is the white bishop. So again, the bishop is the king's, the king and the queen's uh, advisor, guidance. They're smart. They're, this wisdom is intellect. But this fragrance just didn't say that for me. So fig leaf, and y'all know my favorite is bergamot. Um, Mandarin, it, it's, it's called a woody aromatic incense. And I think the incense part for me just made it like too smoky. So it's, it's given like, like a smoky feel, like a, uh, a smoker that has been opened and it's just like filling the air. You know what I'm saying? And you smell it when you drive by, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's that. And for me, that's not super, super feminine. Um, I don't even think I would want my man to smell like this. It's good, but it's not one that I would do like for date night. This is maybe something that I would do uh, 4th of July. Like, maybe that. And I, I still feel like it's maybe too sophisticated for 4th of July. But, yeah, that's that's when I would do that. And then, Kaisa. Uh, I saved this one for last because when I first... 
was introduced to this discovery set. I had um I think I had Checkmate, but this was the first one that I picked up out of this discovery set to carry in my purse and like spray, you know, when I needed to freshen up. But this is the white queen. So on the white side of the board or the 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 um white mirror side, this is the white queen. And this was the when I mentioned like mind games gave me love and life, this is the love of the game. So the white queen. So she knows her position. She knows who she is. And she is standing in what she knows. Like this fragrance, it seduces. This one, um, it has gardenia, musk of ambrosia. Mm, girl, just big words throwing at me. And I'm saying big words as far as like the notes. Um, this is... It's a white flower, but I will say like the muskiness added to this one in particular with that sweetness on the side, she is a winner, y'all. I absolutely love her. Um, I'm going to spray this one just because I feel like she deserves, she deserves to close this out, honestly. Um, but the, the thought process put into mind games, um... The perfumery, uh, the perfumer behind each one, I think that they really put a lot of thought process into it. Simply because, I'm not going to say that these just smell like certain things, because I don't personally think they do. But I will say, I'm a fresh nose. I'm fresh to fragrance reviews, and um, I, don't, I don't like to compare, but if I'm being honest and truthful... These do not smell like, like my top 10 fragrances. And I love that because I feel like when you're a fragrance reviewer or you're into fragrances and you love fragrances, you are looking for the next, next best thing. You're looking for the next it factor. And I just feel like Mind Games is that. Mind Games is a showstopper. Mind Games is, again, sophistication and it's innovation. It's not a fragrance that smells like the, the next fragrance I have. When I buy expensive niche fragrances, I do not want something that I already have. And I really think that they did a great job at, you know, creating newer fragrances. So I give the whole Mind Games collection, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. Because I don't feel like it's affordable as far as the Discovery set. Um, I do think Discovery sets should be a little bit more affordable so people can see what they want. Um, I do think that the, the bottle, the 100 milliliter bottle... Being priced at $345, I will say for the quality that you're getting, it could be worth it. But a cool $250, would've, that would have did it for me. <laughs> but I, this is not my brand. And again, I, I do not question people's pricing, but that is my opinion. So what if I rank these from my favorite to least favorite, I'm going to go with um, Jadu being my favorite. And that's over here in the black side. Uh, Grandmaster coming in at second. Um, Kaisa, um, definitely Double Attack. That's that chocolate one I mentioned. Um, Checkmate, which I have the bottle of. Then Asuli's Diamond, Garday. Um, next I would go with Blockade, Castling, and then I would end with Scholar's Mate. And Scholar's Mate was the one we said gave Jalapeno, you know, the prickly pearl, uh, pear, pickle vibe. Like, that's just not me. Um, but, yeah, Mind Games, extraordinary. I will leave everything in the comments or in the description to give you more uh, information about each and maybe help you decide which one you're going to go out and purchase. And, again, the Discovery set was nice. It is a little bit, you know, costly. So, I would say if you have a local Neiman Mar Neiman's Marcus, go there because they do sell them there now. It's dropped in fall of last year, but, you know, they're selling it now. And just try them and take your time with trying them. And don't feel like, you know, shy about trying. You want to know what these smell like and you want to spend your money where you want to spend your money. So go to a Neiman Marcus. I know that they sell this online, um, Avant Garde. Uh, that entire fragrance group is actually the creators of this brand. They also make me Shani, Tiziani, Terenzi. So I just know that those are a lot of um, popular niche fragrances. So this comes from people that do good work. So again, I vouch for Mind Games. I love Mind Games. My mind is blown now. 
Um, and I want yours to be blown too. So check out Mind Games when you have the chance. And remember, you got it from Fashion Sense. Thank y'all. See you later.